Hey everyone, welcome back to Daily Downshift. Today we'll be talking about the GM strike and how it has affected the production of the 2020 Corvette, and you might be surprised at the answer. So a lot of Corvette fans and soon-to-be CA owners have been frustrated as of late because of this strike as it lasted over a month and it was thought that delays would be inevitable. The strike concluded though a few weeks back and workers are already now back in action at their assembly plants. Now spokesperson Rachel Bankshaw stated in a recent video video that workers will continue work on the Corvette C7 through mid-November before taking a scheduled break for retooling, and this retooling process would only last three weeks. She also said the specific dates of the retooling process, which will start on November 18th and go through December 6th. This is amazing news because it was thought for the longest time that this specific retooling process would take eight weeks, but now we're being told that it'll be done in less than half that time. Everyone assumed that because of the strike and long retooling time, the Corvette C8's expected delivery would surely be delayed, but it seems like that may not be happening at all. GM may have known all along that a strike would be on the horizon and went conservative with the original 8-week timeline, knowing full and well it could be done much sooner than that. And come to think of it, a company of their size and scope probably did know of this and prepared accordingly. That's a damn good job by GM. First they release an amazing product for a great price and now they're beating timelines to ensure that soon-to-be owners can get their vehicles as soon as possible. For the most part, dealerships are staying tight-lipped about production and delivery dates, but I'm hearing some dealerships are optimistic about a Christmas delivery window, which is huge news because that means they'll be in the full swing of production once the holiday break is over. This potentially means lots of deliveries in January and February, which is a very fast turnaround for such an anticipated vehicle. I'm really hoping we see them rolling onto Canadian dealership lots in January and based on this information it sounds like that might be very reasonable. Now for those of you with any orders on the Corvette C8, I would love to know in the comments down below when you guys are getting your orders. There's not a lot of people out there that actually do have an early allocation out there, so if you do, any type of information on your status code or expected delivery date would be very much appreciated. This way we can kind of relay the information to our subscribers and everybody just kind of benefits from the shared knowledge. Thank you all so much for watching today's video, that is going to do it for today. It was a little bit of a short one, but we just wanted to get the info out there that the retooling process is down to three weeks and production may start sooner than later. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, a like rating would be appreciated. Subscribe for more Corvette and daily car videos and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.